Oh boy, guess what today is? It's eBay Mystery Tech. Okay, it's well packaged. Oh, what? Why is there so much stuff in here? Oh, it smells. What? What am I looking at? Congratulations on the purchase of your new Visor handheld computer. So it is like a Palm. In fact, it does run Palm OS apparently. A GPS companion? This is a GPS add-on? What? How do you even attach these things? Oh, oh, there's a whole other box underneath here. This is the OmniSky wireless internet and email service. On the following screen, you'll be asked to tap the center of the target. Wow. Touchscreen technology. The eye module. All right, let's try plugging in a webcam. Wait, hang on, I'm gonna, I'm gonna do a selfie on this. I mean that, that right there, my friends, is a real masterpiece. But I'm actually kind of surprised at how much stuff is actually usable on this. And I say usable with some slight asterisks, but I mean, we've got a camera, we've got what would have been a really cool wireless modem, We've got a GPS antenna, and all this stuff was pretty easily swappable. I mean, no, should you buy one of these in 2018? I mean, of course not, that's ridiculous. But this is actually kind of cool. I've got to say, I was actually not expecting this to work as well as it does. This one's from Jimmy. From Jimmy? Okay, this is from Twink Toys. All right, it's like an action figure or something? Of course it's. That's not tech. There's no part of this that's tech at all. The whole thing is just a doll. There's nothing mysterious or scary about this at all. I mean, does that look scary to you? Are you frightened right now? Because I'm just frightened of how much money was wasted on something that is not remotely tech in any possible way. I'm just going to leave this here for the rest of the video. Thank you. Great, it didn't need to be there anyway, it's fine. Sports cards? This is a baseball card? What did you get a baseball card for? This is not tech. Did you miss the most important part of mystery tech? It's not mystery random stuff. It's mystery tech. It's the best of tech. <laughs> it's an Austin Evans baseball card. Wait, there's an actual player. Yeah, he was drafted by the Rangers in June of 2000. His name is Austin Evans. In fact, he's from Austin, Texas. All right, all right, that's pretty good actually. I will say he actually does mildly look like me and his signature also kind of looks like mine. How much was this? 15 bucks. $15? All right, a USB to PS2 keyboard mouse adapter. This isn't mysterious. Am I missing something here? An adapter, oh. What are you laughing for so much? I haven't even opened the thing yet. You're already over here laughing. It's the doll. Oh, you're staring at the doll? You're staring at this doll? <laughs> is this one of those reproduction Model M keyboards? Oh, it's not a reproduction. Is it a real one? Wait, I guessed it right? Oh, oh, I'm excited now. That might be a new record. I actually guessed what it is, right? Oh, dude. I feel like I could beat someone to death with this. I've never tried one of these before. So if you guys are not familiar, the IBM Model M is widely regarded as one of, if not the best keyboards of all time. Dude, this is so clean. So this isn't a reproduction, right? This is actually an original one? Yes. Oh man. Wait, we just gotta, we gotta do it, we gotta do it. Oh. Just listen to that. Because this is an older keyboard, it does use a PS2 connector, which to be fair, some modern PCs, specifically a lot of desktops, will support it. But for me, I'm gonna need an adapter. Oh, there's a problem. Uh, computer doesn't smell so good. Yeah, I, I heard a pop. Did we kill my cool HP? That smells bad. Seem crispy. <laughs> oh, well that's not good. Um, so we were trying to get my laptop up, it was dead, and we plugged a different power adapter in it, and now it smells bad and won't turn on. Oh joy. Uh, 
They said that this computer was very hot. No, no, no. <laughs> so with a replacement laptop, let's try the keyboard now. So, oh, hey, we have lights on. So at least it's getting power. So it's definitely got a different kind of feeling than any kind of standard mechanical keyboard that you would pick up today. It also has a different key layout. I'm just realizing this was back before, you know, the Windows key existed. <laughs> But hey, it works. I mean, with just a simple USB to PS2 adapter, we've got full support. And you can pretty much get everything you need done. You've got all your function keys. Everything else is almost identical to a current keyboard. You know, Ken, I gotta say, this is weird. It's not the most normal thing in the world, but actually I think for a lot of people, this is legitimately pretty cool. Wow, that's, that's aggressive. That's, uh, all right. Oh, not another one of these. Oh. So, you may remember a very special episode of Mystery Tech almost a year ago where we took a look at the Robo Raptor. Well, this, this is the Robo Raptor's special cousin. <laughs> no one enjoys this, Ken. Everyone is on my side and doesn't appreciate seeing me annoyed with some stupid dinosaur robot, right? Okay, there we go, unboxed. All right, what does it do? Attack. Well, that, that's, that, that, okay, I can't, uh, all right. Good dinosaur, good dinosaur. Oh, it likes it. Wait, wait, do they know each other? Does this, is this how this works? <gasps> Robo dinosaur, Robo Raptor, you're alive. Hey, wait, can you fight? Fight, 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 fight. Yeah, there we go. My money's on Robo Raptor. Hippo Soar seems lame. Oh, <laughs> oh, wait, wait. What's gonna happen? Get him, get him. No, no, this way. This, this. Yeah, there you go. Get him, get him. Oh yeah, get it, get it. <laughs> wait, no, no, Robo Raptor. No. It's okay. It's okay. It's okay. Shh. It's okay. The, the mean girl dinosaur just doesn't like you. It's fine. You, you, you tried. Oh no. Just... No, Robo Raptor. This is, this is my box. What is this? Did you just get a. Is this just a giant pickle? What is this? Why does it have your name on it? 112117. Thanks, Kenneth. What is this? Real pickle in a sealed Coca-Cola bottle, full grown, four inches. So, it's just a pickle that grew into a Coke bottle. I agree, Robo Raptor. I agree.